Although the Burn is widely known for its unusual landscape and rich heritage, most visitors to the region will readily agree that the people of the Burn and their vibrant indigenous culture are a very important part of the influences that make the region truly special and unique. People are very much the lifeblood of the Burn and its renowned landscape. Their farming practices are central to maintaining the region's natural and built heritage, while at the same time enjoying an enviable reputation as poets, raconteurs, musicians, artists and craftspeople. People have lived in the Burn for 6,000 years or more. The earliest named people from the region were the Korkumurua tribe, who ruled much of North Clare in the first millennium AD, possibly from a base at Cahar Bolyakin Varga. Their territory or chiefdom was divided up into two baronies in the 14th century. To the east, the barony of Burren, ruled by the O'Loughlins, and to the west, the barony of Corcumro, ruled by the O'Connors. These family names, as well as those of their poets and lawyers, the Dalys and Daverns, still feature prominently in the region today, reflecting the high level of continuity within Burren society. The church, too, has played a large part in shaping Burren communities over many generations, as the abundance of ecclesiastical sites in the region will testify. Legends abound about St. Coleman in the North Burren, in particular about how the hermit saint performed the miracle of the flying dishes. To the south, St. Faulkner held sway. Several holy wells in the burn are named after these saints, each one attributed with a certain cure from toothaches to blindness to melancholia. These holy wells were important sites of pilgrimage for generations of burn people, and even now continue to receive veneration, particularly on saints' feast days. The creative tenacity of the people of the burn is probably best reflected in the larger-than-life personage of one Michael Cusack. Born in Carn in 1847 to a herding family and educated in the local parish school, Cusack went on to found the Gaelic Athletic Association, today the world's largest amateur sporting organisation. His impressive legacy is rightly honoured in his home village. The famous Mararua of Lemina seems an equally impressive and determined burn character. Though with her colourful and often murderous history, it is sometimes difficult to separate fact from fiction. In much the same way as the Burns' flora has been embellished with Arctic and Alpine visitors, so too have the communities of the Burn and their culture been greatly enriched by the array of people who have been drawn in over many generations. Lady Augusta Gregory and her illustrious literary entourage, including Yeats and Singh, Russell and O'Casey were some of the distinguished visitors spending time at Gregory's summer home on the flaggy shore in the North Burn. Long before this, the O'Dawley family had a bardic school in the area, while Nobel laureate Seamus Heaney would evocatively describe the same flaggy shore in his poem Postscript. Other notable local literary figures include Ennis Diamond's Brian Merriman, who penned the epic Midnight Court, and Michael Longley, a highly regarded northern poet who has drawn much inspiration from the Burn. Visual artists have always been attracted to the Burn. Sir Sidney Nolan and Robert Gregory are just two in an extraordinary procession of painters who have been captivated by the region. Today, the Burn College of Art continues to nurture this artistic tradition by hosting international art students at its Ballyvaughan base sustaining a long-standing tradition of local learning which dates back to the medieval law school of the O'Davern, once housed in Cahar stone fort. But perhaps it is through music that most burn artists have found expression and most visitors delight. Doolan and Kinvara lie at opposite extremes of the burn, but share an extraordinary and richly deserved reputation for traditional music. In reality, however, all the towns and villages of the Burn are well endowed with entertainers from Shanikis to Shano singers, crooners to Cayley bands. Without doubt, the communities of the Burn and their rich culture are a treasure in their own right. Let us also acknowledge the rich collective memory bank of tradition and folklore 
accumulated by its people over many generations.